isn't about websites, it's about creating compelling digital services for government. I wouldn't say that being open is a radical approach to government, I say it's the natural state of government. You've got an approach to open data where the British government is now the world leader. There's a lot of great civil servants and great government thinkers here. This is the new civil service in the UK. This is how the civil service works in the UK. Mike, tell us how this project first came about. <laughs> Who had the first idea for the government digital service? Exactly. Um, it came as an idea from, uh, from a report called Digital by Default, which if you boil it down, it came down to four major outcomes, which is the first is a form a central government digital estate. The second thing was then to fix publishing, to start, to start fixing this issue of indiscriminate publishing that government's been doing for 15 years. Then to get onto the meaty issues of sorting out transactions and making transactions work better for, for citizens and businesses. And the final bit is what we call go wholesale. It's via APIs and uh, other such magical wizardry is to open the whole thing up. It's designed around the user, not around the needs of the, the, the desires of the government. And that's tended to be the case in the past. Previously, there were literally thousands of government websites. Um, and the only thing they had in common was that they were all different. Not one of them looked the same. You had to learn a different language. You had to know how government worked to use government. And at the heart of what we think here is that actually there is only one user need, and that is at the point of interaction, you're dealing with government. Printifying uh, is not what it's about. I'm thrilled that Gov.UK won this incredibly prestigious design award, but that wasn't about what it looks like. It's about making sure that people will be using this and they will need to get something done at the end of the day or learn something. So rather than trying to make stuff look pretty for the sake of it, and try and make things easy to use. Jordan, tell us what you do at Government Digital Service. What do you work on? Um, so I work on Gov.UK. Uh, and more specifically, I work on the mainstream team, so you'll see the things that we do are like when is the next bank holiday or what is the VAT rate. So um, if you go to gov.uk and type in bank holidays, yeah. um, you'll see UK bank holidays here. Uh, and if you select that, you'll see highlighted straight away the next bank holiday is the 27th of May. So by making it front and centre, people can get in and get out really, really quickly. Has there been anything particularly surprising or enjoyable or distressing that you've worked on since you've been working on this project? So um, I, I was surprised at, um, at how open we've been able to be. All the code that we write is published online um, so other people we've had other governments around the world who've, who've made use of it which is really good to see. Increasingly across government now more and more civil servants are recognising the, the value of being open, the value of talking to people vastly outweighs the risk of being tight-lipped. And it means embracing the fact that you share what you're doing with people outside because they might be interested or, importantly, they might find value in it, but you don't realise you're offering value yourself. We've really taken the language and the, the cultural behaviour of many web-based companies and adopted it to government services. The heart of the internet generation is that you try something, you get users to use services, and then you iterate really quickly. And that's very different from how government services have worked in the past. Typically, the way we've done these things is you enter into a big contract uh, where you expect to specify everything at the outset. Then you have to go through an endless process of an outline business case, a strategic outline business case, a full business case. Take about six months to write, in some cases over a year. Then we put it out to procurement because of procurement rules. That might take another six to nine months to actually buy something. By which time it will almost certainly be out of date. You're locked into a supplier and it's really expensive to, to make changes. So what we've got to do is move from the language of procurement and you've got to start thinking of commissioning where you're actually changing stuff really, really quickly. That business approach of being, let's get an alpha out there early and then a beta, and then when we do say we're ready now, be humble enough to say we won't have got it right, we'll keep iterating, we'll keep improving, that m really makes, forces you to have an agile development approach. We have 
uh, a quite incredible wall in front of us. And this is a well-established system of managing projects. Yeah. Um, it's part of the agile yeah. development system. So tell us how it works. So we're, we're borrowing a lot from Kanban methodology. So it's a, it's a lot about managing workflow. So at GDS we have an awful lot of work streams. We have a lot of work going on. But once you start to put stuff up, you can really visualize what's going on. So you can see uh, we have a lot of things in this column here. And we know that that's probably a bit of a problem. So we can actually start to address that. Well, show us an example card. OK, so this card here, which is something that's in delivery right now. It's uh, some work that we're doing on improving search across Gov UK. It's a, it's a high priority project. Um, and inside it, we, we look at um, <laughs> the people that are involved in that project. Ah. Yeah, it's a progress bar here. Yeah, we're, yeah. In, a, we're in a good place nice. with that project. Excellent. Why is search so important? Two thirds of um, visits to Gov.uk come via Google search, well, come via a global search engine. Um, and within that, approximately almost 4% of people then do a site search, which is actually about 2 million searches per week, uh, so per month. So yeah. it's really, really important that yes. when people search for something, they find the information that they exactly. need. Exactly, yes. The core of Gov.uk now is a simple, clear, fast proposition that makes it easier to find what you need. And if you've learned how one bit of it works in one department or one service, you should have learned how the rest of it works as well. The thing I think is great is that it's got a very high reputation around government. They've got high credibility and it's got a very can-do approach. And people know that they can get difficult stuff done quickly and effectively. The challenge is going to be being able to meet the demand in government, not to, you know, not to sell it in.